guys. Welcome to 2021, or the preparation for, anyway. <laughs> um, so this year, we are going to continue in both groups with some sort of year-long project. For those that don't know, if you're watching from one group or the other, I have two Facebook art groups. One is called My Creative Year, and the other one is called A Life of Art and Self-Expression. My Creative Year is only a couple of years old, three or by a couple, I mean three or four. Um, a Life of Art and Self-Expression was just started in December of 2012, so approximately. So it's about eight years old, nine years old. And um, when I originally started the project for My Creative Year and decided to do monthly, weekly sort of prompted art things for the Facebook group. It was going to be just in a life of art and self-expression. And then I decided to create a separate group for it. But then I decided I still want to do a, do a project in the other group. Anyway, I ended up with two groups. Um, up until now, we have and or I have had kind of the same or similar projects in both groups. This last year for 2020, we had written art prompts in both groups, and I shared what I created with those prompts in both groups. I did both prompts on a single page. I am filming this in December, so this is the page I did yesterday. And I have the two words, one from each group up here, and then I create a page inspired by them, and then I share it in, in both groups. That's worked out fine. But for this year, I think we're going to do something a little different. I do enjoy doing some kind of daily prompt. And I started doing daily drawing or daily prompts a long time ago. Like I've lost track now of how long ago exactly. Um, I started out by doing daily drawing prompts from a couple different websites, including Sketchbook School. They would come out with lists like this. This is the one I never got to, but I'm going to catch up on from October of 2019. Um, I have a few of these. I would download the um, image of the words and the prompts, and then I would cut it out like this, and I would paste it into the cover of a drawing journal. These are ones that I've made. They hold just a month's worth of drawings, um, and that's perfect for me. And then I fill up the month, and then I put it in a box in the other room where I have my finished artwork, and then I start a new one for the next month. And I'm going to keep doing that for 2021, in a life of art and self-expression. So, and I'll be doing prompts from other groups or sites around the internet. Um, Sketchbook School doesn't do these kind of anymore, but they have images of all their old prompts going like way back when. Uh, you can find a lot of them on Pinterest. So I will be doing that and doing a daily drawing. I'm gonna start with the, I have like six months worth right here in front of me or seven. So I'm not gonna to need to download anything right away because I got plenty and I wanna use these up. So I'm gonna doing that, be doing that for a life of art and self-expression along with another project. And if you wanna see what I'm doing daily over there with those prompts or what the project is over there, you need to join that group. We also have a different project that we're gonna be doing for my creative year. And I'm going to do them separately. They're going to be shared in their respective groups. So if you want to see what they are, other than these sketchbook school prompts um, and these, which, where are these from? Uh, Draw Riot Daily, which I don't know that they're doing prompts anymore either. But again, a lot of these you can find on Pinterest if you just go to Pinterest um, or their websites. They're still up. Anyway, um, so if you want to see what I'm doing in the two groups, um, they're going to be separate, and you need to join the two groups to see what you're, what I'm all of what I'm doing. A life of art and self-expression is and always has been more of an artist support group, where you are more free to share your links, um, links from inspiration sites or other teachers that you find, um, ask business questions, ask art questions, um, and it has a broader code of conduct than my creative year, which is strictly just about the art and your work. Um, so there's that. And so maybe you'll join both groups that you find one is better fit than the other. No harm, no foul. Um, but I will be doing different projects in each one. And if you want to see what those projects are, you need to join both groups. Okay, after that long, very wordy, rambling introduction, we are here in my creative year and with our project for the year. So 
after much debate and much back and forth, and I was thinking of merging both groups this year, just FYI, and I was asked not to do that. It is still something in the back of my mind, but just FYI. <laughs> I was also asked to please let's keep doing the daily word prompts. So we are going to do that. So for, I'm gonna put my glasses on because yeah. So for each month this year, we have a monthly theme and a list of words that are inspired by that theme. And they aren't as pretty as the ones last year. They're just really, this is the January list. They're just a list of words. And you can see right now, this one's not even formatted correctly. I'll try to fix fix that before y'all get a copy. But um, it doesn't have to be, because it's gonna be about your work in your journal and your work with the words. And not this just can be just a list of words. Um, I'm going to continue working in my Moleskine Kaye type journals that I've been doing. This is my December 2021, and I'm going to keep doing something like this. Only instead of two words, we'll just have one word up here. Um, so I have my new Moleskine for December, and like uh, the old ones, I'll be pasting my list of words into that first page so I can use it as reference. And I have some date, little mini date calendar things I'm going to rip off every day and paste in. Um, and I've been accumulating different, let me go get them, hold on. Okay, a few months ago, I was um, just surfing around on the internet and I found these li this little mini, it's a little mini calendar uh, for 2021 on AliExpress. And it is just a pad of paper with the dates on it. There is a word at the bottom, which you could use or not, um, but it's got the whole year. And every month has a different word. And they're sort of positive affirmation words. So like January is passion, February is confidence, uh, March is strive. So um, I'm gonna be ripping off the page and pasting it in Similarly to this, I wrote it in, but I'm going to be pasting it in um, to the page, and that's how I'll get started. And um, then referring back to our list of words and looking at the word for January 1, it's seedling. So then I'll write the word seedling and do a drawing. I will do a quote. I will do some collaging in the journal. You get the idea. Um, so we're going to do that. I'll be sharing them on a daily basis in the group. Um, again, we will have a monthly theme. Now, the monthly themes, for the most part, are about um, personal and artistic growth and our journey with that. So we tried to make the daily words something that you could draw from or paint from or write from or do photography from. This isn't just a painting and drawing group. This is for creatives of all types. So whether you're an art journaler or you're a painter or you're a photographer or you're a writer or whatever your artistic form is, I wanna encourage you to take the words, take the monthly theme and use it as a jumping off point for inspiration. Now. There will be some days and some months where you may want to say in writing and on camera, okay, I'm not getting it this month, but this is what I'm doing instead. Totally okay with me and believe me, I understand. I've done a lot of teaching and a lot of classes over the years now and there has been times as a teacher, it's really bad when you look at the prompt you're given by that class coordinator and you just completely draw a blank. Um, I've been there. I've done that. But I want you to sh I want you to share your journey with that blockage and that struggle in the group. I think it'll help not only yourself but other people in the group. So I want to encourage you to do that. Please share and encourage and like. Please read the code of conduct. Um, and yeah, you don't have to have something like this. You could just write the dates. It's what I did for 2020. Um, you could print out some labels with the date on them if you have some Avery label paper and you could just print them on your computer and then just have it for the month. Um, whatever works for you. And um, let's see where we can take this journey for 2021, hopefully to a better place than 2020. Hopefully. 
Anyway, I do have some admins and fellow creatives that will be sharing their work in the group. And if you would like to be one of those, please let me know. The one thing I want to try to be better at is creating a document for you all, a running document in the files with uh, creative links. So if you create a video, a YouTube video, or maybe a blog post or something else, or a Facebook video, I want to make sure we have a central document where your fellow members of the group can refer to the single document to find out what's going on for the month. Um, I've been bad at that for 2020, but I, you know, 2020 is just, pardon my French, a shit show. So <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyway, I hope this gives you some idea of what you can do and that you choose to have join this journey with me. And if you want to see what we're doing in the other group, I would love to have you join there. Um, it's again called A Life of Art and Self-Expression. Um, and I will try to leave a link down in the description um, of this the post for this video. So get your things ready, print, print your um, um, January list when it comes out again, and we will have a photo album for the lists like we did for 2020. And um, you can just download the list and print it. And um, let's see where we can take this journey, hopefully to a good, interesting, fun, artistic place. Yeah. All right. That's it for now. Don't forget to take um, uh, good care of each other. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear your mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.